Hey guys, RC here, back with Mist Survival, episode 12. Alright, I need to find out... What is this over here? I don't think I've been here before. In fact, I'm positive I haven't. Alright, nothing in there. A knife. Yeah, I don't think I've ever been to this building. And that's probably why there's jack shit here, but fair enough. So we've rearranged a few things at the base. We'll uh, we'll look at that when we get back. Uh, the bear had come back, but we are dealing with that. I am hopeful that you were able to hear the in-game audio right now. The, uh, the sound effects and whatnot. I had uh, sent a tweet out to Game Edged on his uh, Twitter handle, and we were looking for some help from him on just trying to figure out how to get sound, and what it appears is that a lot of the games that I record, Football Manager and stuff, I have the audio turned off anyway, but... OBS does not do a good job with a default. Wow, I've got trees way over there too. Um, does not do a good job picking up multiple audio channels from a recording standpoint. It does pick up the video, of course, which that hasn't been an issue. But from an output standpoint, it does not do the audio very well with multiple channels. So my microphone is one channel, and then the audio coming from the game would be a separate channel. So not sure if it's working. It looks like I'm getting a register on it, which I was before but it wasn't coming through on the audio feed. Now what's weird is I have tested it a little bit and I have gotten it to work, but for some reason when I record it and then I check it right on my PC, it does not, actually I don't want to do that. I don't want the stumps right now. Uh, all you can hear is the one channel, so either the in-game audio or the um, me talking, right? So that's, uh, but when I put it into my rendering software, uh, my DaVinci software, then I get both audio channels and I can hear them both. So I won't know if this is going to work until... I actually go to try to render it. Hopefully it works for you guys. If not, you may not see this video if it's if it screws it up. We'll see. I want a boatload of sticks here. That's that's my goal today. And we'll get a lot of everything else as we're going. So another gathering episode. Last one we went out and got some components to build the fencing. The Bears are troubling, uh, of course, when they respawn that area. You just don't have any free time with the bears. Um, so, you know what? We may have to consider moving. I've, I've, I've spent a lot of resources building the cabins there. But let me know in the comments, do you think we should move? It, it really doesn't matter to me. Uh, if we have to move to another location, it's good for hunting and that's kind of what I was thinking, but I didn't realize 
how burdensome it was going to be from a construction and just everyday living standpoint. I hadn't thought that far ahead, right? So let me know in the comments what you think about moving along. Where is my truck? Because I don't want to be too far away from it. <laughs> if we have to make a dash for a bear or a mist or whatever. Oh boy, we're not getting much out of this, are we? I got two sticks and three. We're going to have a lot of logs out here. Leaves too, but I don't really want leaves right now. And I am walking, not running. I know that gets kind of burdensome, but we do need to conserve our stamina so we can actually chop trees. And we are stamina depleted. And I think that's it. We got almost three stacks of sticks, so I think that'll be good. Let's go ahead and grab up some logs. Resupply the base with that. I am having another issue at the base with the truck flipping over. Uh, looks like I'm full there. And I am... Oh, a feather. I would like it. Any more sticks? There's one. I think I've got room for three more sticks if I can find them. Looks like there's a few over here. Right there. Awesome. All right, so three full stacks. I think we need to make a U-turn here. There we are. Get back up to our base camp. And again, if I do get the audio working here, then it is going to take some finagling to get it to start sounding right. Because I think I have checked the audio. Let's double check that real quick. All right. Um, I want to get up here. I can get down right there. We can cut inside. All right, that's done. That's done. And oh, I need the oh, I need components, not sticks. Damn. All right. Well, I do have components over here. All right, we're going to drop sticks in there. I needed all this stuff anyway, but still. Uh, we got that extra knife now. That's good. We're going to go use our wood pile in here. And toss a couple out this way. And I think that works. All right, how many components do I have? I have eight. I've got nine. That should be enough to do what I want to do over there. All right. Just got to be careful of that bear.
No. Damn it. Fair enough. All right, so we're not quite b closed in here. I don't want to tear that one down because that kind of hurts me right here. All right. And I believe that was it. Nothing, nothing, nothing. All right. How am I doing? Hunger and thirst, we are okay. So we want the sledgehammer. So the issue I'm having is the truck flipping over consistently. So what I'm having to do is back out real slow. Anything at a higher rate of speed, and it is killing me. You know what? Let's go down this way. Just I want to see where this goes, because I we haven't gone this way, I don't think. And I just want to double check where it takes off to. So we may not have... Oh, we have not looted this. All right. And there is a Coke in there. Uh, battery. And a little bit of gas. We should be far enough away from that bear. I think. I think. Now, there was... There was a component that fell. Remember that right behind our, our base? I don't think that's right here. I think it's farther over. But I need to get down to the bottom of that hill at some point. Is that another... Oh, look at that. Another metal component that I missed. All right, let's get out to the road and see what's respawned, because I do need more components. I guess at some point we're gonna have to go just make the effort to get one of the hostages. All right, that one has not respawned. These, these have, all right, so we can hop out here and make sure we've got our sledge there we are we will start just busting up some cars and the metal's good because we can you know we can eventually break those down and smelt them into the 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 poor ingots I'm just looking for the bear down there in the distance oh you know what I smashed up a car the other day while I was just doing a gathering uh, it wasn't even I wasn't recording it but the uh, Oh, another branch. Yes, we will take those. And I suppose the wood as well. But the uh, the car, it was just a random car somewhere, and it dropped... It dropped two gears. And I was like, well, that was unexpected. All right. As I said, that bear pass over at the near the wall by the motel and then across. But usually if you, you can get up to here with no problem. Typically. But that doesn't mean I'm gonna take it for granted, you know? Because the second I do that will be just like that episode the other day when he 
popped out of nowhere and ran me down and uh, and got me good. We picked up another tire over here so that that tire does respawn on occasion just in case you're looking for materials to try to put multiple vehicles together. I still don't think it would be a bad idea. The, uh, the truck is great for carrying some, you know, the lockers in the back for lots of storage, you know, a gathering, you know, if you're going to go out and do some mass gathering or whatever. But honestly, the, uh, the SUV, I think, does a decent enough job in, uh, in carrying, all right, nothing now, in carrying stuff. But what it does a better job of, or at least it did, is in handling. It just handles better. You don't have the flips with it. And look, there's a piece of metal scrap right there that we I just completely missed. Gotta, gotta look for that. Try to always save before we pop inside here. I don't know where the bear is. good thing is we can jump in from this side if he shows up so anytime this one respawns it's a good idea to grab it just because of the gear that it drops there it is all right try to get out of here That car is too close to the bandit camp. And I tried to go raid that bandit camp off camera, and it did not go well at all. <laughs> uh, I could not kill them. Not one of my strengths. And that bow and arrow, until I get some hunting arrows, for sure, there's just too many hits. So that's one reason I want to get the chicken is to get some more feathers because I think you get six feathers if I'm not mistaken. So that's two arrows. So, but we're just building up our resupplying our base here with the components, mainly components. I've got a lot of metal. Might have been this one. I don't know why I'm thinking it might have been this one. That that car that dropped two gears. It was it was unexpected. I was like, wow. I don't think I've ever seen that happen. My videos, my playing, or uh, Game Edge or anybody else. Uh, Cage. I also watch Cage Eight Four Eight play. Just make sure I didn't miss anything there. And I think we got one more car up here we can hit up. It would behoove me to maybe look around for some sticks as well. Because this will be a good area. But I don't want to waste any of my stamina running for them, you know. So, a little slower than usual. My apologies. Just, you know, we are limited on the stam when we are using the axe or the sledgehammer. Oh, here's a couple. Oh, feather. Definitely grab that. I highly recommend picking up feathers. I know a lot of times they, they overlook them in other playthroughs, but... Just because they are something you have to have for those hunting arrows and you need I think it's three two or three per per arrow it's a crazy amount um, 
Okay, we need to load the truck up. So let's see if I got some room. Uh, that's going to be a negative. So what are we going to drop off? Well, I have a feeling I know what I'm going to drop off. I'm going to drop that stick. <laughs> I could get a hard stick later. But that does fill our inventory. And I am maxed out on my stacks of components. So I'm going to say that we have gotten everything we can get today. Now see, it's weird. Like right here, I mean, I, I can floor it. I can zoom around, make quick U-turns. And I'm not flipping over. It's just coming out of that... Uh, it's coming out of that darn uh, building that we've built over there. Uh, don't hear the bear. There he is. So he did come out of nowhere. I don't know where he was hanging out, but there he is. Oh, hold on. Reach. <laughs> Let's come back. I do want to... Yep, yeah, I've got that one bucket that we can fill up. All right, let's drop it in for the bow. Right, and then we will put that back in our inventory. Maybe. There we go. All right, so we got 10 more liters of water, too. Glad I remembered that. I'm not desperate for it, but it never hurts to have it. So when we get back to the camp, I will see you guys there, and then we'll kind of look at some of the changeovers. Right, just about back to the camp. It's not too far away. There's Mr. Bear right over there. Whoa, and I almost flipped doing something there. All right, we got to be careful with him now. All right, um, so first things. Let's load in these. I think hmm, I'm going to swap that out, that out. I'm pretty sure I got another rock somewhere. And do that. All right. And then this. All right, we can put some more spark plugs in here. I know I've got another place for gears. I know I've got a place for feathers. The batteries do not stack. There's another rock. We've got another partial stack of sticks. Now there's some painkillers. There's the, le there's the uh, feathers right there. I'm going to go ahead and drop that. I think the gears must be in here. There they are. So good. We're up to eight gears. All right. We've got that. I'm going to go ahead and drink this Coke because it's about to go bad on us. We had put some branches and wood over here so let's do that do I have room for those arrows I do so we will swap oh actually we'll do that and I am low on arrows so let me see if I can see that component it fell right down here. So that's a road right next to us. 
I don't see the component right now, but it fell. It was when I was breaking that fence, so it should be right over there. But it could have rolled somewhere. It could have disappeared. What do I know? All right. Um, so components is what we needed. So let's get back up here. I kind of like the Robin Hood thing going on because we can actually get up on the roof and, you know, get across that way. And we are protected. All right, that should get us fully enclosed here. All right, so now what I can do is I don't need these in the window anymore. And you cannot put the regular fencing, um, if we look at it. You can't put the fence. You can only put the door up here. So just something to be aware of. And... I use the game edge tactic where I try to put them facing opposite directions. Um, I probably should have had those reversed to kind of clear out. If you put them where they open like a gate, they'll push everything away from your middle. And that way they can, uh, you know, more, more zombies can get up there uh, if you need them to. All right, nothing can get in here or here. And these are protected even though I don't need them to be anymore. This is protecting these two, although I don't think anybody can get to this one. If I walk through, I can get to there. Now, this is open, which I'm not a big fan of that. So, I would like... Where did I put... Let's grab those sticks. And let's hop up here. We do have a mist coming in. All right. So I would like... We'll build one there. I don't want them to be... Gates, because, right... Gates draw the attention. Um, actually, you know what? We're going to cancel that. And we are going to cancel that. All right. And I want... Let's close this. Just I don't want them going in there. And we can get our last fence there. All right. So then we want four, I need 12 sticks. Right, boom. All right. And then we'll get up on here. Now, I'm concerned about here ah, let me come back over here in case they come out while I'm while I'm doing something and I need four more sticks and that should get us there Yeah, see, he's right there, and he's not aggroing on me. So I don't think he will. But you know what? I'm going to leave that one just as a safety precaution for right now. Now, what we noticed is that zombies do not... In fact, I want to... We want to jump up here. All right, and let's try to 
go to sleep and see if they swarm me here. They're not. And it looks like the mist is gone. All right, well, that's too bad. I was hoping. Now, I think they will aggro on the other house. That one over there. So what we can do next time there's a mist. Ooh, hello. Take advantage of those anytime we see them. Is we can come over here. And we can try to go to sleep here. And that should pull them in. Because they're usually right on the other side. Uh, and this would be a good place to fight them from. We can actually pull the spear. And stand right by the door here. And, and not be in range. So that's kind of the game plan. At least for now. And the reason I redid it this way is. So we've got what? 1, 2, 3, 4, 7, 10... That's 13 pieces of fence. When I was going from the corner here all the way to the corner there, it was like 24, 21, something like that. So, all right, what time is it? 7.35 or 17.35, so that's 5.35 military time. All right, I can crouch and get back here. All right, we don't need that. All right, let's check our water. How is that doing? All right, so it's still going, slowly but surely. All right, we will... There's another rock, and I remember we had rocks elsewhere. believe they were right there all right we got a leaf too boom i would like to make i think i need to make some more lockers now this one's protected so we could put them in there this is going to be for our suitcases i could could move this suitcase over here and then we could add some more stuff there and then we could make some more lockers right here And we could probably use two. I don't want to go through all of our... <laughs> I don't want to go through all of our components, but I think having a little more storage would be beneficial. All right, so... Let me get a stack and a half of those. And a stack and a half of those. I don't know how many I'm going to need, just to make sure I've got it. All right. And just for example, I think that would be the first thing we would do is we would probably move our components into one of those. And we need four wood which I definitely have right here all right and I just need four so we will finish these up boom is it facing the wrong way that one is yeah crazy all right, spin it around. There we go. I don't know what I did there. All right, come on. And see, it's not letting me get any closer than that now. That is crazy. 
All right, well, is what it is. Is what it is. All right, I'll sort that all out off camera. Turn the light on a little bit. All right, so meat is dried. I am getting hungry, and our food is probably going bad. Let's go ahead and eat, uh, eat the lowest one here. It'll waste a little bit, but we're going to end up losing a lot of that meat anyway. All right, we'll refill this. That's good. And that's full of water, so we can go ahead and drop this one here too. All right, and luckily it doesn't spill out. That's nice. All right. I don't think there's anything else I can do today. It is only 7.30. Hmm. Let's see. No. No. I'm looking for my construction stuff. All right, saw and hammer, good. Let's toss these sticks up there. I don't need leaves. All right, so, oh, I do need, let me get three of those and We'll split half, split one, toss that back in. So let's go ahead and make some nails. That'll take an hour. And I'm going to go ahead and put a cut here, guys. I'm going to go ahead and grab uh, some supplies, uh, load up on our logs in here. And... Then we will start on some construction. I'm going to go ahead and start the construction off camera just because, and I'm going to leave those. Boy, it's amazing how fast that stuff goes. Hit the like button, subscribe. I hope the audio is working here like it's supposed to. Uh, we will see, and I will see you guys next episode. Have a good one. Bye.